All right, skunks are normally seen as pests, but there is a way to peacefully coexist with them inside and outside of the home. Yeah, here with more on how to achieve all this, the owner of Incredible Bats, Sharon Peterson, and the manager of Big Run Wolf Ranch, Raina Runty. Thank you, ladies, both being here. Yeah, thanks for having us. Okay. Yeah, thanks for having us. Okay, I'm sorry, but these two are the cutest little things I've seen. <laughs> I'm shocked at how cute they are because you never really see them up close. You don't ever right. want to be close to them. Exactly, yeah. yes. Not a wild one. Yes. These guys, yes. Those guys don't spray, correct? <laughs> They're correct. decented. Okay. Right. Decent it. And how old are they? Um, they're they're about uh, eight weeks old now, I think. Oh, yeah. wow. Yeah. At eight, eight weeks, weeks, they're that size. Yeah. Huh? yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. We got them when they were about five weeks old. That's about when they they can leave mom at that point. So, okay. yeah, about five and weeks old. And you say you rescued them from a fur farm? Mm -hmm. So, there's a, um, Julie French is a, um, is a skunk rescuer in Indiana, Indiana Skunk Rescue. And uh, she takes in wild skunks and has them all over her house. But in pens and everything and takes care of them and then her husband and she go down to a fur farm and take skunks from there mm -hmm. buy them and then resell them as pets in indiana because they're uh -huh. legal in indiana as a pet okay. not in illinois though yeah. what do people need to know about skunks say in and around the home if they don't want to have one as a pet but they do see them around their home what should they know about the animal that they don't know well you know what they're it's not their first instinct to spray you right away because if they discharge those two little glands they have two scent glands at the base of their tail if they discharge those glands they're going to be defenseless for like a week or so it takes oh. That really? Long. Yeah. Right. Oh. So they don't have, I think it's common for people to think that they just have this unlimited amount of spray and they don't. So they're not going to spray you immediately. They do try to give some warning signs, try to give you a chance okay. to get away, mm -hmm. like stomping their feet tail. or raising their tail up and trying to look larger and things like that. Okay. Um, and then if they do feel very threatened, then you leave them no, no choice. They turn their body into a U shape. They turn around, lift the tail up, and then they let there you have you it. So, okay, so is that probably why they mostly spray dogs? Because dogs don't get dogs the message. Dogs don't give them a chance. No. Dogs run up at them immediately and uh, so the skunk really has no option then to just, uh, other than to just spray and defend themselves because they want to get away. So They can only see 10 feet and then it's blurry after that and their spray can go 10 feet too. So okay. that's that's why the dog, once they come into that 10 foot area, they don't stop, they just keep on going and so they're, they're, they're stomping. They would, get direct yeah. sprays right, mm -hmm. in, the right now, in the face. And this one's an albino, correct? Yes. Okay. Yeah. So this one is, uh, this is Casper. He's our, our first albino skunk that we've ever had. Uh, we do have another black and white one back at our facility and uh, they are pretty pretty social animal, so we wanted to get a little playmate for our other one. Mm -hmm. And uh, so yeah, it's pretty fun to get to see them play the, together. Their nails are very long. Yes. So do yeah. they do a lot of scratching mm -hmm. and clawing? Yeah, very, uh, Huge diggers. very good diggers. Yeah, they, that's one reason they're pretty helpful is that they eat a lot of pest bugs, you know, okay. around the garden or farms and stuff. So they love ticks, they love termites. They can even eat venomous snakes like rattlesnakes. Oh, wow. Wow. That's, oh, wow. Yeah. So that's, that's the good part of them. Yes. Okay, but if you still don't want them around, you say there's a humane way mm -hmm. to get right. them to leave. Right, so what, what you can do is, well, first off, if you don't want them around, you can, there's things that you can do. Like they say, like you can put coyote urine around there where they're at. Uh, you can buy that locally, you know, at the store, oh, oh yeah. uh, like <laughs> at right. Lowe's or that kind of thing. Um, so that might work. You can also take a, a human t-shirt, get it nice and sweaty, don't wear deodorant, guys, you know, and get it nice and sweaty, put that down their hole, that may deter them too. But you know, you can learn to live with them too. And one of the things we recommend he's, if you I'm have sorry, a, he's on your mic. I know. <laughs> <laughs> so we can't yes, hear you very I know. well. I'm digging down in there, wanting to yeah. hide. Okay, so much to say. say. <laughs> yeah. So anyway, so Hang on here. Come okay. off my mic here. There you so go. yeah, so sorry about that. So anyway, so one of the things um is that um Sorry, I'm losing my train of thought here. So yeah, so to, to, to get them out of your thing. So they, um, if you have them around your house, again, if you have a dog, don't let your dog out at dawn and dusk. These are crepuscular animals. They're active at dawn and dusk. Okay. And so what you want to do is you do have um, your animal to go out, take a can with nuts and bolts in it, shake that first oh. before you let your animal out, and that will warn them because they can hear that noise then, and then they'll hopefully go away. And then you can let your dog out in your yard and that kind of thing. But if your dog gets sprayed, there is a solution for it. Do you want to okay. tell what the solution is? Yes. Yeah. So everybody thinks it's tomato juice, but we're coming to find that people are bathing in tomato juice for absolutely no reason. Really? So, oh, yeah, no. it's really, you know, it can kind of help a little bit maybe, um, but really it's the baking soda, um, the Dawn dish soap and the, uh, uh, the peroxide. peroxide. Yep. Yeah. Oh, look at the that. The combination of all three. Mm -hmm. yep. And that'll help neutralize the smell a little bit, but even, let's say it's your dog gets sprayed or you get sprayed, lots of baths, lots of showers, well, your friends probably are not coming to your house for a while yeah. because it's still going to stink. I mean, it can sometimes take a couple weeks before that smell is ah. really going to completely go away. But what you don't want to do is get your dog wet with water right. first. So the Dawn dish liquid is what lifts the oil out. That's the big culprit, that oil-based, oh. so it's an oil-based um, uh, 
chemical in their, in their body and it has like five sulfuric chemicals and that's the delivery of it, that oil, and that oil sticks, you know. So get the, get the, that chemical solution on first, then rinse them off. Okay, okay. you have the two big ones too to show us, yeah, right? Yeah, that's right. Yeah, we're we're going to put these some... back real quick. I don't want to ruin okay, the little time. You, Mr. Loki here. <gasps> oh, oh, my God, so All right, you have to go get me accident, okay? They are so, so freaking cute. So they can come in other colors. People are seeing this. This is um, supposed to be lavender, but I kind of call it champagne. Um, and then this is Maxie and this is Loki. Maxie. They're five and a half years old, and they are chubby, but they love to oh eat. Gosh, and we don't feed them much, but they just can gain this weight, you know, um, and that. But um, what do they eat? So, so in the wild, so lots of things. Shaky. But in captivity, we feed them a variety of things. I feed them a, a little bit of dog kibble because it has a lot of balanced nutrition in it. It's a high quality dog kibble. And then for dinner, they get um, in our house sautéed vegetables oh, well, with um, <laughs> all kinds of vitamins and stuff mixed in with that, and a little egg too. And then Raina, you give a lot of raw things. To yes, we give a lot of uh, just like you know different variety of vegetables, leafy greens, boiled chicken. They love dried mealworms. It's one of their favorite. They can have oh, yeah. hard boiled eggs. You can even give them little cottage cheese, little yogurt, oh. um, little peanut butter. They get omnivore pellets. Um, so kind of a, just a whole variety of and different things. And how old are these two? Five and a half. Five and a half. And these are Sharon's. And, and they're, brother, they're brother and sister. These are mine. They're brother and sister. And how long will they live? Meet them too soon, right? Oh, yes. We're going to be at Big Run Wolf Ranch, Raina's, mm -hmm. uh, Raina's place, yep. um, this Saturday from 10 to 4. Mm -hmm. Yes? Yeah, it's a really yeah. great education. You know, we're really, you know, we just want to teach people about the animals and mm -hmm. have people learn to kind of coexist with these animals a little bit better. So that's what we'll be doing Saturday. They can come out to the ranch and get that's to learn about house. all of our animals that we okay, have Okay, I was getting ready to say, so skunks, what else? We have, uh, at the ranch, we have a total of seven wolves. We have an Amir tiger, formerly known as the Siberian tiger. Okay. And then we also have a cougar. We have a Canada lynx, a horse, a donkey, coyotes, oh, chickens, man. and ducks. Wow. So oh, it's a really cool. great education event, you know, for people to come out and learn all about oh, these really misunderstood animals. Yeah. And of course, I will have my animals there yes. too, and I'll have my sloth there. So yes. if you oh, haven't seen Rico yet, so he's getting 10 months old. He's <laughs> okay. getting adorable. We'll have to bring him in again. He's getting big. Yeah. Real quickly, how long will they la live? Okay, so uh, typically in captivity, you can see them go eight to 10. It's been heard of for them to go 12. Mm. Um, and then in the wild, they usually only live maybe two to five. Oh, yeah. Biggest yeah. predators are cars. cars. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Farm they implements. Can't see. Yeah. And, um, and then of course, when they're babies, great horn owls. Yes. Oh, okay. yeah. wow. yeah. So fascinating. All right, so look, this is where you can find them this weekend. Um, go onto the website to find out more details about how to get there and, and what else you need to know before you go. But ladies, thanks for coming Thank in you. and educating us about us. the skunks. So yeah. this is Who very knew? cool. Thank Thanks for having us.